at Ascension, stuff was being flown out uh, to the airfield and then distributed to the ships immediately off the island. We didn't have that luxury for the ships that had already gone, so airdrops became became the norm. Um, and uh, there are a number of, you had to consider a, a number of things. Clearly, there's a maximum weight that a lynx can can lift, um, and um, and and there are other issues such as if if, if you drop a big box, for example, and they generally were big boxes, or well, you had to the big and heavy boxes. You had to pick them up quickly, get them back on board, uh, and then stand off while that box was broken down because the flight deck is the, uh, the only place you can land. You don't have the luxury of doing of anywhere else. So it was quite a, it, it was quite a routine. You'd, you'd take off when everything, you know, when everything was ready with not much fuel to give yourself the maximum payload. Uh, to, to lift the load, because you'd assume that even if they declared that its weight was X, it was probably going to be X plus some plus a bit from you know, wife and kids uh, thrown in at the last minute. And then on hitting the sea, even though they were plastic wrapped, that would often shred. You know, there were parachute drops, but even so, the impact would quite often open up the wrapping. So uh, the, the next layer of cardboard would then quickly start soaking up. Water. So the thing, in other words, it would get heavier than it would, should have been very quickly. So you had to get to it fast. So the C-130 generally, Hercules would, would, would come in, make contact with the ship, um, minimum communications, but enough, uh, and we would get airborne, we'd hang off one side, Hercules would pass on the other side, drop the load, and as soon as he was through, we'd go around and pick it up. If it was calm enough, the ship would put a boat in the water, uh, with a with a ship's diver uh, or a swimmer um, in the boat, whose job would be you know the boat would go to the, the load and the swimmer would get onto the load. We would come along and they'd hook us hook us on. We'd pick the load up, take it to the ship, put it on the flight deck, and the moment it was on the flight deck, then there'd be a, a bunch of guys waiting to attack the load and break it down as fast as possible to clear it off the flight deck, so that we could get back on board. Bearing in mind that we didn't have a huge amount of we didn't have a huge amount of fuel, uh, so so it was a time critical <coughs> drill, uh, but we were all pretty good at it by the end.